Are people talking about your brand online? In this video, I'm gonna show you a tool that will help you find out. Stay tuned. What's up, LTD addicts? I am Dave Swift from that LTD.life, where I am reviewing every single deal that AppSumo puts out in 2020, at least so far. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified when new videos come out. Today, we're talking about brand mentions over on AppSumo. 49 bucks gets you in the door. Now, this tool will help you monitor when people are talking about your company or your competitors online. It'll tell you who and, and where they're talking about you. So obviously there's two reasons you'd want to do this. Well, maybe it's not obvious. The first reason is that you want to join in the conversation, make sure it's going in a positive direction or at least an accurate direction. And the second reason might be that you want to follow where your competitors are being discussed to make sure that your brand is also in that conversation. So really when you start thinking about it, there are a lot of reasons to monitor your brand online. Uh, but does it work for small brands? We'll find out. I'm gonna actually look up this channel as we get into this video here. First, I'm gonna break down the deal. What are you getting over at AppSumo? Well, there are basically just two options. This is a fairly straight ahead deal. You can see that a single code is 49 bucks, double that to get a double stack. Almost all the limitations are just double, but there's some things to explain. So 20 keywords versus 40 keywords. Note that you can only track 20 keywords within one project. So if you buy a double code here, you would have to actually have multiple projects or multiple brands that you want to monitor to be able to use all 40 keywords because it is limited. Uh, that is actually an increase from when the deal first launched. They started off having just four keywords per brand. So that is actually a, a boost. We're also gonna get 100,000 instant mentions and 15,000 historical mentions. That gets doubled when you buy a second code. Now, what is the difference between this? Well, an instant mention is something that you can search and find that data immediately. It's gonna be you know, in a relatively short period of time. And his, a historical mention will go back in time uh, and give you much deeper data. You can actually get notifications about historical mentions as they come out and you'll be able to dig in deeper there. So that scales uh, proportionally with in a second code. Then I've already mentioned the five project versus 10 project. So if you're managing clients, you have more than five, you'll definitely want to get the second code here. Uh, another benefit is daily alerts versus real-time alerts. So if you're managing, so let's say reputation for clients, you want to join in conversations immediately as they happen, you'll want these real-time alerts. And the storage history, you'll get one year of history versus five years of history with the double code. And for most people, the thing that'll really push you over the edge is you get these white label reports when you go to the double code and you can also export your data. So I have seen the reports. They do have quite a bit of branding on them. So we'll actually look at that later in the video. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing set up. I'll go ahead and create my first project here. Start monitoring, it says. I'm gonna go ahead and type in that LTD. And oh, look at that. It even finds a brand as small as mine. That's good news. We'll go ahead and hit continue here. Sites and social accounts. It's looking for sites sites that we already own. So here is the website. It was able to find that on its own. It could not find our Facebook page. Let me go ahead and add that. And it did find our Twitter profile. So that's great. If you're not aware, you can head over to thatltd.life. We have a great LTD directory where we actually track every lifetime deal that comes out and you can sort by category or marketplace. Uh, it's a really cool tool. Head over to thatltd.life to take advantage of that. In the next step here, we're looking at the market to monitor. This is basically where in the world do you want to track for mentions of your brand? By default, it's set to worldwide and any language. However, there are a lot of options here. You can choose uh, basically any country in the world, it looks like. And there are also a ton of different language options. Now, I'm going to leave this at default. However, one downside that I see is, let's say I selected the United States, but I also wanted to monitor, let's say, Canada or United Kingdom. There's no way to add a second country. It's kind of either the entire world or just one country. Same thing for languages. I can't say monitor English and Spanish at the same time. It's either pick one or get everything. Now for most brands, that's probably not gonna be an issue. All right, starting project here, it's researching the brand, gonna pull in all the information and we'll see how good a job it does. Now at that ltd.life, we mention other brands. We don't really expect brands to be mentioning us or there to be a great deal of conversation about that ltd.life because we review stuff, right? So it'd be kind of weird if the conversation was about us. So I'm not expecting to pull in a ton of data here, but let's see what they come up with. All right, so right out of the gates, it's got six mentions here and 
and a bunch of them are just our YouTube videos. Now there are some interesting ones where it says uh, Thin Ice YouTube and Least Favorite Life Cover YouTube. Now if I click on these, uh, what it's actually doing is it's finding videos that we are recommended for. You can see here it says that that LTD.life uh, recommended for you. If I open this up, what it's doing is on a generic uh, YouTube search, it's actually finding a video over here. We would show up on the sidebar, I guess, occasionally. I don't see us right here, but uh, you know, it probably depend. I'm not logged into YouTube through this, but it probably depend on uh, the uh, the time that it was searched. So I can sort between all mentions, web mentions, and social mentions. Right now, we don't have any web mentions. It hasn't gotten that deep into the process yet. Remember that we can do what they call uh, instant mentions and historical mentions. Well, let's go ahead and grab that historical data in up here in the corner. I can do that. Now this is going to take some time. It says it might take up to an hour. So let's go ahead and hit that extract historical data and we'll see that slowly start to populate throughout the rest of this video. Now in this setup section over here, there are a few options. One is to monitor your backlinks and doing that is actually really easy. They do it through Google Analytics. So you have to have Google Analytics already set up on your website, but you just go over to your project settings here and then go down to where it says monitor backlinks. Then you're just gonna connect your Google Analytics account right here. All right, now anytime an external website links back to that ltd.life, I'll get an email notification about it. Let's head back to the dashboard here and see if it's pulled in any new mentions. You can see we've got quite a few coming in, 126 overall mentions, eight backlinks, 35 positive mentions, and six negative mentions. There is some filtering options available to us. So up here, I can see different segments, so I can see just those negative mentions. And here it's pulling in a bunch of YouTube videos again uh, that may or may not be my actual videos like this one says why I switch from Aweber and get response to Sendy. It has a negative uh, mood to it, but it might just be the overall tonality of the video was negative because it's talking about moving away from companies and, and switching to another one. It looks like I was probably mentioned somewhere on this page as well. Now, if you wanna create your own filter, you can do that right up here where it says filters. That's actually the third step here in the setup progress. If you click that, it opens up this sidebar where you're gonna be able to set up segments of data that will be you know relevant to you. So let's say you're getting hundreds or thousands of mentions a day and you just can't keep up. Maybe you only wanna find stuff that has a high domain influence. Well, you can click right here and say, uh, let's find stuff that has a domain influence of over 50. That would be the big website. That's gonna be things like YouTube and Facebook. If you start to segment those out, you can save this as a segment and it'll show up. We'll go ahead and give it a name. I'll call it uh, DI50 for domain influence 50. And it's gonna show up here under the different segments. Let's go ahead and check out what those reports look like. It's over here in the sidebar. It says reports. To create a new report, it's very easy. We'll just hit this red button. We'll call it a test report, hit create report. I have some options here. I can add a cover page, uh, change the title. Uh, if I wanted to leave a little message for my client, I could do that as well. Then I can toggle on and off the different categories of data that I wanna include. So maybe I don't want to include anything about languages. Let's say I'm only monitoring in English. I don't need to include that page. I could include, uh, let's say, maybe the mentions list isn't important to me. I can toggle those things off. Let's go ahead and hit generate report here. Downloads as a PDF, I'll open it up for you. All right, this is what the report looks like. You can see that it is very heavily branded for brand mentions. It's got their logo, their purple color right on the title page. Every single page has a brand mentions mention on it. So if you're just doing this for yourself, who really cares? But if you wanna seem like a pro and hand this data over to your clients, you'll probably want to stack and get rid of that mention. The report itself is fairly attractive. You can see it's got some nice graphs here. There's not a lot of data that's being pulled in, so they look a little bit sparse, but that's more about the, the brand that I'm monitoring. We've got the mentions list here. I can see uh, top mentions, uh, how much performance I'm getting out of them, the date that they occurred. These are hyperlinks, so if I were to send this PDF to a client, they could go ahead and click right on it and go to the actual mention. Yeah, overall, the reports look really, really nice. It's probably just a matter of white labeling them. If you just wanna pull some data in about a particular competitor, you can do what they call quick research. So let's say I head over here to where it says quick research and I will type in, uh, let's say AppSumo. I can choose the countries and the language that I want to monitor as well as the time period. So we'll say over the last week and let's go ahead and search. It says extracting mentions of AppSumo. And here we go. I've got 231 mentions and counting here. It is climbing very steadily. Most of these are web mentions with only a few social mentions. 
you can easily sort between those two different segments. There is a nice progress indicator down here and it looks like this is all done. Now, if I wanted to get daily alerts for AppSumo, I would just click on this button right here and then it would create a new project for me. Now there are a few more icons over here in the sidebar to check out. We've got influencers, and if I click on this, I can see the public personas who are talking about that ltd.life, and I can also see the top sites where we're mentioned over here. This information is available on the dashboard at a glance, but you can get more detail by going through the sidebar. Heading over to the My Mentions section right here, this is where Brand Mentions actually tries to categorize the different links it's found for you online, and it puts it into these different categories. Categories. We have important, uh, unlinked, trash, spam, and then we're also seeing even some of the segments that we've brought in. So here is, so let's say, Gumlet versus Short Pixel, the most recent mention that I have. If I click on this and I decide, you know what, this is not a very important mention, I can click on the triple dots over here and I could mark it as not important. Now I could also bookmark mark it and say, oh, this is a very important mention, I wanna be able to access it easily. Then I would choose the bookmark section over here and we can see there is the Gumlet versus Short Pixel link. If a mention is completely irrelevant, of course, you can click on it and just trash it. Of course, there is a trash section, so if you accidentally delete something, you can still recover it for a certain period of time. Now, if you have lots of clients, you wanna switch between different projects, you just go up to this icon right here, there's a little disclosure triangle, and you'll be able to see each client inside of their own project. Let's go ahead and add a second project because I wanna actually set something up here. Now, I'm gonna set up a project based on monitoring my name, Dave Swift it turns out that there is actually a professional skateboarder and a professional bassist named Dave Swift. I really don't think anyone on net is talking about me personally, but there are lots of mentions about that professional skateboarder and that bassist. I wanna show you how if you have a more general sounding brand name, you can start to exclude mentions that aren't relevant to your business. So an example that brand mentions gives is Apple. Let's say you want to monitor Apple, but you don't want to know about fruits. You want to know about computers and smartphones. Well, there are ways in brand mentions that you can kind of filter things out to only get the fruit that you're looking for. All right, here I am right here. Let's go ahead and choose that. I'll hit continue. Now, once again, it was smart enough to find my work website right here is ClientAmp, and it found my Twitter profile. I will go ahead and add in my Facebook profile as well. We'll go ahead and hit continue. I will monitor worldwide, why not? And it's gonna go ahead and do that setup just like we saw before. All right, so my first group of mentions have pulled in. There's 36 different mentions, and you can see that they're almost all about either that bass player I mentioned. Here's Dave Swift on Jules Holland. And if I click on, let's say, this Alex Willems banging, this is a skateboard video featuring Dave Swift. Now, obviously, I don't wanna know anything about these. In fact, I don't really wanna monitor my brand because I don't really promote myself as a personal brand. But if I did and I wanted to filter out these guys, there are definitely ways to do that. I can head over to the project settings here and under keywords right now, I am just looking for Dave Swift. However, I can also add required keywords. So maybe I do something like lifetime deals and then I can also exclude keywords, something like base, bassist, skateboard, skate, skate. All right, now you might not need to have both required fields and excluded fields. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and remove lifetime deals because it's not likely to have every mention about me on the internet include the words lifetime deals. So let's go ahead and just remove base and skateboarding and we'll see what it comes up with. Now, when I hit save, it asks me to confirm these changes and I can also choose to have the previous mentions before the filtering or the exclusion of those words was implemented. I can have those rerun essentially so that I get a nice clean look at my mentions. All right, it's cleaning up the project right now and finding the fresh mentions. Let's head back to the dashboard and see how good a job it did of cleaning up. All right, so you can see I'm down to just 20 mentions, whereas I had 36 before. Now, as I said before, I don't expect people to be talking about me online. So uh, even though a lot of these results have been filtered out, you can see there are still a bunch of mentions about like this banging video is the skateboarding video. They don't actually say the word skateboard uh, inside of this. So that's why it's still showing up. Um, and there's also things like this. I filtered out skateboard, but I didn't do skateboarding. So this one still triggers.
All right, and then once again, if I wanted to toggle back to another project, I'll just click up here and go back to that ltd.life and it'll switch over for me. It's very easy to remove projects as well. You can hit edit project up here and then you'll just scroll down to where it says delete in a second. At the very bottom of the screen here, I can delete the project and it doesn't take up any of my slots. So if you lose a client, don't worry, you can always uh, add a new one to use up your lifetime deal allotment. So how does this deal compare to something like Civic Feed or Awario? Well, they're very, very similar. And if you already have one of those deals and you're happy with it, there's probably no reason to add brand mentions unless you really need, say, the white label reporting or additional client slots. It is nice that it looks like brand mentions was built with an agency in mind. For a brand like that LTD life, it's really not important for us to monitor social mentions online. We're just not at the point where we're getting a lot of mentions yet and we probably will never get there. However, if you do get mentions and you're not following them, you're definitely losing out on a possible opportunity. I'm gonna go ahead and give brand mentions an 8.8 .8 out of 10. It's a really solid product. It's proven itself. It's been around for a few years now and I don't see it going anywhere in the near future. If you need social monitoring, I think you're in good hands if you pick up this deal. If you wanna pick up your copy of Brand Mentions, the link is down below in the description. Of course, that is our referral link here. It helps support the channel so we can make more reviews like this one. Hey, make sure you head over to our Facebook group if you're not already a member. We've got new conversations about all of the latest lifetime deals popping up there. AppSumo deals and other deals as well. So if you're only in the AppSumo world and you want to start to expand your horizons, make sure you head over to our Facebook group. We'd love to have you join over there. That's gonna do it for this review. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. I think between Civic Feed, Brand Mentions, and Awario, we have a lot of choices. Which one is the one for you? Let me know, I'll see you in the next review.